Hey guys, feels weird being on this side of the camera with y'all staring at me and me staring at you. So, um, today was K-Day. I didn't really go to, I didn't go to this one. I didn't really want to. Not a lot of the car models, really. The selection, to me, it was hit or miss, you know. There were about like three or four cars that I'll probably see that I'll probably go pick up somewhere else. So today I want to kind of have like uh, what I used to do, like a mock K-Day. So I've got about 20 cars here. And that's another thing, storage tips. Uh, old boxes, shoe boxes are perfect for carded cars, maybe even loose. The only thing is you can't really be a cardboard collector because you'll see some of the cards in here are bent, but... You know, my dream is to actually get my own place, have a layout. You know, I might have a layout sometime uh, in this place, but I'd like to get my own place, have a massive layout, kind of like what I had at my grandparents' house, if you guys remember the earlier videos. And then just, you know, in that room have, like, carded cars on the wall for certain cars that I will leave carded, and then have... A layout where I can display every car I've ever bought that I cracked. So, but for the time being, I'm happy with this. So, these are some of the cars I picked up over my long summer. I picked a lot of cars up over the summer, and I picked up like two 10 packs when I got at a discount because somebody had stolen the uh, cars. I think they stole an exclusive out of there, and then they also stole a poster that I know of, but I got a discount on it, so. But without further ado, let's go to the uh, cars that I bought. And I'll, you know, there's some fantasy in here, but I'll tell you why I bought these. Walmart exclusive Mustang. Um, gonna do a custom for a friend on that one. Euro style, this is one of the few that I found. Cool car, the BMW, the 90s E3. BMW. Uh, I just like that one. Uh, this was awesome. I actually found this the day before I went to went back to school. It's the uh, Matchbox Chrysler 300C, the 2015, with full detail. So that's got like the front detail, and then here's the rear detail. It's just, why can't Hot Wheels do that with, like, every model? But, hey, you know, premium product, premium price. Matchbox has been hard to find in my area, so every time I find one that I like, I pick up. Uh, this was cool. I have played Forza in the past. I say that because it's right there. Um, so, front detailing. But really... No rear detailing. I may have lied, I can't tell. Yeah, no rear detailing. But that's cool, that's one of the cars where if I had it in the layout, I'd just park it up near something. Uh, here's one that they did really well in my opinion. The Porsche Carrera GT with rear detail. So, good looking car. Um, I had to pick one of these up. I also picked up the Matchbox Edition, but the Mazda MX-5 Miata. Good looking car. You know, it's it's a tuned car. A little bit more tuned than my liking, but hey. Collect what you like. Here's a really good one. I also found this the same time. The Matchbox Infinity uh, G35 Coupe. I mean, the wheel choice... Like, that's a basic matchbox wheel, but headlight detail, taillight detail, just an all-around good-looking car. I mean, they even went all out as to put a, uh, you can't see that because it's black in the light, but they even went all out to put a moonroof in there. That, I had to pick one of these up. Hot Wheels Skyline GTR. I mean, I like them myself, but I'm not going to be crazy and hoard a bunch of them. 
I mean, if I find it, if I find another one and I know somebody's looking for one because they haven't found it, I'll pick it up. But I don't really buy into all the JDM, excuse me, hype. You know, everybody says, buy what you can afford, collect what you like. So that's what I did. That's why I'm not at K-Day. So it's the black version of the BMW. I mean, I like BMW, but there's some cars I just, I won't pick up. Because, again, you know, I buy what I like. Ah. See, this is more my style. The 69 Dodge Charger 500 in green. Um, I have one of these with the opening hood. What I noticed is, with this car, you take it apart, they still have the engine as part of the interior. So, now this is one, you know... I'm in agreement with uh, Derek Morey. Flames make the car look awesome. 69 Cougar. I think that's the 69 Cougar. Yeah, 69 Cougar. Uh, this one was cool. I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen my custom on uh, the red one of these. It's uh, JDM cars, though, so... Japanese domestic market, if you guys have been hearing that and were like me, don't know what it meant for the longest while. So the steering wheel is on the other side. Well, the car I did, I actually made a custom interior. I forget what car I took it out of. And just cut the rear seat out and made this, had the steering wheel on the uh, US side. So Another Euro style car. I always liked this car. I never got any of them. You know. But again... Premium product, and I don't think we got taillights on that one. I can't tell. I'll look at it closer. Oh, we did. Well, again, what are they, like four or five bucks for a premium car? Still cool, though. Uh, this, another Walmart special. Uh, that's going to get made into a custom for me. Uh, this is just a wheel donor. I like those little wheels, so, because I do a lot of low riders. Well, not a lot, but I'm doing a few low riders. Next is a pickup truck that's going to be a low rider. This was a double. I already have one of these, and I put um, the regular straight black wheels on it, but I got to, uh, I need to fix those up, redo the axles, because I bent them all to heck. So now it has, like, the uh, extreme camber or stretch tire look to it doesn't roll but you know that's kinda not good here's the double the uh, 69 Mercury Cougar that one's probably a wheel donor and then the body's gonna go into like the junkyard get a little rusted up and stuff I haven't bought the uh, Tamiya powders yet but that's one thing that I'll probably buy in a little while uh, Dodge Coronet Super B. If you've been with my channel, there's a certain year Super B I always pick up and collect. Well, any Super B I pick up, but there's a certain year I love to collect. I believe it's the 69 to 71 Super B. That's the one with the V-shaped grille where part of the engine hood actually would go up with the... Uh, um, there's like a split in the grille and part of the engine hood is actually there. That's where your latch is, so... When you uh, pop the hood, your latch is underneath there. You grab that and that lifts up and that's just a cool look. Dodge was always doing something cool with their cars like that. But, um, so I always collect that year. What I'd like to see is a, and I know some of you guys, Paul Wooten, uh, Smooth Criminal. Um, after 72, they made those cars in a four-door sedan and station wagon version because in the original Gone in 60 Seconds which was made in 1974 they have uh, the Chicago, not Chicago San Francisco Police Department is driving the Super B with that front end and their four doors and then also they stopped making the Super B I think in the late 70s in the US however for the Mexican market, you could actually get it clear up to 89, but it was made for the police department of Mexico City. And I believe it was also made for the Mexican Highway uh, Patrol. 
which they were the fastest thing and that's why Mexico had them for highway patrol cars. But I digress. Yeah, I'm getting to doubles here. Another charger, because you know, a lot of people buy those up to make general Lee's out of them. I, I'll, I might make a general Lee out of this one, or it'll be a rust bucket, like barn fine type thing. The wheels are going to be taken. Another Super Bay, because why not? That'll probably get made into a convertible sooner or later, so... So, I hope you guys had fun at your K-Day. I hope you guys got what you liked. For me, again, I saw like a case preview. Nah, not the greatest selection. You know, nothing too great for me. Like, maybe four cars that I would pick up. That I can probably go pick up somewhere else. So, well, alrighty, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. I know it was weird seeing me from seeing me, <laughs> seeing my face. Uh... I'll continue on with the truck and talk and Freightliner Fridays. Those aren't going anywhere. Uh, might be putting them on. Might create a channel dedicated to more of that stuff because I find myself doing more of that lately. I don't know why. I still collect. I still customize. But as you've seen, everything I bought I don't throw up on here. Oh, there's one other special piece that I need to... Uh, show that I got same day as I got the uh, infinity and the um, infinity and the Chrysler 300 I did finally pick up one of these I was able to get one and you know what it's already been pre-cracked I've already cracked it earlier I do like these M2s, the only problem is sometimes I'm noticing there's like a quality issue with M2 sometimes. Uh, sometimes the screws are stripped so you can't unscrew the base, like can't unscrew it from the base. Uh, this one, one of the doors is a little bit stiff so it's hard to open. The passenger side door is a little stiff so it doesn't open. Um, and then with mine, the steering wheel was actually popped off, and the interior's not in there too well, but... I don't know, still a good-looking truck. To get it out of there, I actually did try to unscrew it, but I'm not sure if you can see. I had to use my jeweler saw with a coping saw blade to actually cut the uh, screw, what was left of the screw. Well, actually, to cut the screw out so it would come free from the base. Because, again... This truck's probably going to, when I get the layout set up, it's either going on a mountain or going, you know, in a dirt field because you got a 4x4 suspension on a 70s Ford. You know, put it through its paces, man. So, you know, those, that's part of my summer pickup. I've got more stuff that I got. Some of you guys know that I uh, picked up some stuff at the Walmart. I got a couple of uh, the... Zamax, which threw me off because they don't have Zamax written on the card. I had to actually like compare them to the regular brand. So I'm digging through a dump bin at this Walmart, and everybody's looking at me like, "What the heck?" Give me about uh, like 15 minutes. I had it all organized. I had all the cars nice and stacked up. But again, there were no kids around, and nobody was uh nobody was really looking at the Hot Wheels. They were all like staring at me like, "Why is this guy digging through a dump bin?" But you know, hashtag hobby struggles, you know. <laughs> so, that's really it for this video, guys. I hope you liked it. Um, I'll tell by the comments when I, uh, I can tell by the uh, views that you guys like this. Because I noticed, like, the truck and talks and the Freightliner Fridays get a few views, but not as many as my diecast uh, views, my diecast uh, videos, view-wise. But, hey. I like both things, and you know, it's always nice to branch out. So, later!